you know, in her 28 minutes. But we had a lot of great performances today. And so I was pleased uh, to finish up this five-game homestand, you know, with, with five wins and just a, a day we'll never forget. Scott, as far as just building that new generation of Oregon State fan, I mean, what, what is that like? What is the reception you kind of get in the community year after year as this event gets bigger and bigger? Um, I mean, everybody looks forward to it with anticipation. You know, I, I think there was a, a couple years in where, you know, some of the people don't come because it's so loud and they're like, oh, man, how special is this? Everybody's understanding how special, um, you know, this event is. And so uh, the schools keep coming. Uh, I was checking for that afterwards, bouncing around. How was your experience? How was your experience? And everybody's just absolutely loving it, understanding, you know, the vision is it, this is bringing a lot of students and, and kids into a, onto a college campus and into an arena to, to watch a bunch of role models compete on a court most of those people would never have this experience. And so I think people understand the purpose of it, and, um, and it's just something that continues to get better and better. And so I, I think it's, there's, it's warmly received. And uh, you know, when visions become reality, it puts a smile on your face. And so today's a very special day. Well, you guys are coming off two really good wins against two really good teams, and you got Miami looking ahead and everything. What did you like about the way you guys came out today and got out to a 13 to nothing lead? Yeah, uh, we always talk about the first five minutes of every quarter, the first three possessions of every quarter is very, very important. And so how we came out was huge for us. We got, we got stops that we needed, and then obviously we executed on the um, offensive end. But I think it was just kind of showing what we've been working on and coming out was super strong, so I'm proud of us. Kat, your road back has been long, and you know you got that first one, good game last game today. How, how much more comfortable are you right now? I mean, do you, do you like the situation you're in, do you, you, you feel really com comfortable and confident out there? Yeah, I know I still have a lot more room to grow, um, working on my off the dribble stuff, driving more, just that will come with more games and more time on the court. But um, yeah, I mean the team, the coach staff make me feel so comfortable and just encouraging me and it just feels amazing to be back out there. I was talking to one of Southern Utah's, Hanson, and uh, she was just saying their team never experiences anything like this uh, with the crowd and the noise. I wondered, did they say anything to you? <coughs> after the game and talk about what this experience was like than any of the players? Not really. I mean, there was a few times in the game when I'd be running next to one of them, and it would be when they were screaming, and we'd kind of look at each other like, holy cow, like, <laughs> you can't even hear yourself breathe. But that was kind of it. But, but they were down 13 to nothing early, but like Scott was saying, they, they were pretty gritty. Did, they, did you gain something from this game? Did they help you out playing against them? Um, you know, going into this type of team, you can't overlook them. You can't, they're coming in here and they want to prove a point, you know. They put, they tie their shoes just like we tie their shoes and they were ready to compete and it was fun out there competing in front of all those children. Scott, just curious your thoughts on Noel getting double digit uh, scoring there at the end and just kind of what she's brought out. You mentioned coming into the year that, you know, she was, she was a walk on. It was more of kind of an enjoyment thing to help boost this roster on the morale side. I mean, what has she just brought on, on the floor and how happy you see that? No, really happy. Fearless uh, is how I describe her. Uh, you know, she has been performing so well from the beginning. And I knew what she'd bring. It wasn't just enjoyment. It was to fill a gap, you know, in a hole that where Kat couldn't practice. We needed another guard. And so it was one of those, you know, circumstances you get into kind of la last minute. Like, we need something. We need a body. And then who, but we don't just take anyone. And so is there somebody that can fill this role and do it at a high level? And very few people come as highly re recommended as, as Noel did to our program for who she is. Um, then I watched, you know, our staff and I watched film. We're like, she's pretty good. I mean, she has a, a knack for this game that is instinctual and she has a great feel. And we saw that today. I mean, I think th at least three rebounds. She got three. Um, three rebounds, one of them offensive where, you know, she uses her body to shield and she gets up a little higher than you expect. Uh, you know, and so today was everybody getting to see what we've been seeing. Uh, I mean, she competes in practice. She's just not, you know, filling a spot. Um, and that's what I expect from her, um, and that's what she wants. I mean, she, you know, she feels like she, I mean, she wouldn't be here if she didn't think she would be a Division One basketball player. Um, she didn't think Pac-12, uh, you know, but this team has done a great job bringing her along, empowering her, and then she rose to the occasion. And so today she got her opportunity, and that's what I ask of anyone. When, you, when your number's called, perform.
you know, that's all we talk about, perform, produce, and today she did, you know, and so at the end, I told Aaliyah, I said, I want Manon to get 10 points. I, she was at six, or she was shooting free throws, yeah. and then she hit that three. Yeah, she that, was at five, and then... She hit the two free, two throws, free throws, and then hit the three yeah. in the corner, and uh, off the, Aaliyah's assist, and so, you know, it was, it was perfect, but she's worked so hard, she deserved that opportunity today, and, and made the most of it, so what a, what a great example for everyone. You know, I mean, that's the kid I hope to be someday when I was playing. <laughs> Not someday, but back in the day. That's what I, that's what I hope to be. I mean, I mean, she's living most people's dream right now. I mean, she really is. And, and so, you, just, you know, you just pull for someone like that, and um, she's doing it right. For any of the players, was there, what, what was the most interesting question or comment you had from, from one of the kids after the game? Uh, I got, can I have your shoes a few times? Yeah. Could you guys hear each other talking? But that was probably a little Did bad you out. hear me screaming? I was the loudest <laughs> one out here. That's probably it. Like, what's it like to be famous? I mean, it's still like, <laughs> different things. It's funny. They're cute. It was cool, Maddie, up, up above. Is there anybody else upstairs? I don't know. Yeah, you were, you were up. Destiny was up there. Yeah. Up there, high fiving all the Trish kids from the top. Was, Trish was as well. Awesome. Um, in regards to Michaela, this is the second time she's had 18 rebounds this year. So I the first time in five games. Um, she's always been good at rebounds. Has she done anything even more so in that area of her game? Is, is it angles? Is she delivering <coughs> technically that's allowing her to get even more rebounds than she's been given? Yeah, it's a great question. Like, what's allowing her, what allows a guard to rebound 18 times in one game? I mean, get 18 rebounds. Um, <laughs> It's all the things that we've seen in the past, of course. It's who she was. You know, when she came in, uh, that was what stood out most to me, was just how easy it was for her to slice through people and come up with a basketball. And so it's a drive, it's a mindset, it's a, uh, a sacrificial way of playing the game and a desire, of course. Uh, what has changed in her game from last year to this year is her explosiveness. And that, it's just her first step, and it's the way she's trained. Um, nobody trains as hard as Michaela Pivik. Uh, nobody has eight workouts a day like she does. Kidding, but it wouldn't surprise me. And so um, when she had that opportunity last spring to train for USA Basketball, she changed how she trained in the off season to work fast twitch, um, to work on explosiveness. You know, she ran cross country in high school and that maintained, she ran with her sister Malia. Um, you know, so that was a big part of her life, and that was a big part of her off-season up until this past year. So she eliminated that, went straight explosive training, basketball training year-round now. And we've, I mean, it's, you can see it with your eyes when, when she puts the ball on the floor. It's different than it was, and so that has to be the reason. I mean, she's just to the ball quicker than she was, and if it, even if it's this much, I mean, that's it might be five rebounds a game, you know. So her desire and her heart for the team, um, you know, is as great as anyone's, uh, and so she'll sacrifice her body as we saw. I mean, she's, she, one of her fouls is diving on the fl floor, you know, supposedly tripping somebody, you know, but she's <laughs> selling out, you know, for us uh, every second she's on the court. So it's amazing, you know, what a, it's inspirational. Scott, we saw Taya go down last game and not out there today. Do you have any update on, you know, what her status is right now? Yeah, um, I mean, there's no secret here. Taya's getting surgery um, today and this afternoon. Um, that's why you saw our team huddle around her after the game on the court. Uh, and so she's going to be out, you know, most likely for the year, unfortunately. It's another sad part of the game, you know, and so our heart breaks for her. Um, and it means that we've got to step up, you know, as a group in a big way to fill a yeah, big void. Billy, I know you're really close with her. How, just how tough is it to, to see her go through? I know you guys saw, saw Kat go through it last year. And how do you guys just kind of put that away, be there for her, and still focus on what you guys want to do this year? Man, it sucks. Um, I know how hard Tay works. I've seen it firsthand. Um, so her not being out there is hard. I, it's like just kind of hitting me right now. But it's hard. It's painful to go home and not, and not have her out on the floor. Um, I know she's strong. She's really strong. She's going to get through it. Um, I'm going to be with her all the, the whole way. Um, but yeah, it sucks not having her out there.